Hello friends. Well, usually about 99% of my videos are about uh, positive subjects. Eh, you know, about uh, hiking or beautiful scenery, uh, things to do around uh, Albuquerque and New Mexico, uh, historic sites, and uh, oh, just little artful uh, nooks and crannies, you might say. But today, I'm here now at the uh, West Mesa Memorial Park to pay respects to 11 women and one unborn child that lost their lives at the hand of a serial killer uh, right here on these grounds. And we're gonna walk around the grounds and just uh, kind of remember them. And uh, I read a little story about kind of a controversy about the place, but uh, let's walk around and uh, talk about it and and take a look at it I didn't even know it was here I, I really I really didn't even know it was here until a viewer brought it up and I thought I'm gonna go look at it you know check it out now, there's a lot more houses built and being built right now this used to be way up in the mesa out in the middle of nowhere Now this uh, horrible thing happened back in uh, 2001 to 2005. And um, I was doing a little background on it before I came up here. And uh, I read uh, a little bit about it. But uh, this park was meant to honor the victims of the West Mesa murders. Had some people pretty upset about it, about what it uh, included and what it excluded. Uh, a woman named Christine Barber with Street Safe New Mexico said, well, you don't even mention what happened to these women or why this park is even here. But this park was built right over the burial site of these 11 women. And, of course, you have to mention the uh, unborn baby at the time. All their lives were taken by a serial killer called the West Mesa Serial Killer. And uh, from what I understand, it was never brought to justice, uh, for sure. Barbara also mentioned... Visitors can read more about Dan Valdez, which was one of the uh, victim's fathers. And Ruka, the dog that found a bone, that led to uh, finding the rest of the bodies and uh, bringing the police out to investigate. But she said uh, you could read more about these, these things than actually what happened to these women. But of course, uh, back then and now, most people know what happened to them and what kind of lifestyles they led. But the city at that time this was built has no plans on uh, adding any kind of uh, plaque explaining what happened to these women. The families don't want to focus on how these women died or their, or their past. They want this memorial to be uh, a remembrance of their loved ones and uh, who they were as human beings. So I can understand that.
Now, myself, I can kind of, I can kind of see both sides. I can kind of see what uh, this Barbara woman of Safe Streets is talking about, and uh, I can see where the families don't want to, you know, dwell on the horrible things that happened to them being buried out in the desert. You know, I'd rather, if my loved one was murdered, I'd want to just honor them and the good things they they did and not dwell on the tragedy Kind of hard to see, but it says November 25th is International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. On this day, a ray of sunshine will illuminate the center of the, pro of the plaza. And in the middle of the plaza here, it's keep smiling and surely the sun will shine through. Now this park opened in uh, 2020, and uh, so I'm a little late. I'm a little late, like I said, I wasn't even aware of it. Uh, we are way up in the Southwest Mesa area, just full of homes now. But I am so glad that they preserve the area to honor these people. Uh, the crime is definitely here in Albuquerque. Some say it's worse than other cities our size, but I think it's about it's about uh, proportional. Uh, there's a lot of construction and noise, but still a peaceful place. Well, that's going to do it for today's uh, little tribute video. But another eclectic video for my collection. I have over 600, I think 675 videos so far. So if you're interested in this, I have a few more about crime. I have a black and white kind of a short film about some of the problems in Albuquerque. But uh, if you've been following me for the last few years, you know I love Albuquerque and I cover, like I said, almost all nice, beautiful, positive subjects. But uh, once in a while, once every couple months or so, I like to uh, just get down to the real uh, crux of reality and this is one of them, but this is nice to know that's here and it's honoring someone. It's uh, it was a long time ago, but it's nice. Thank you for joining me. Hope to see you soon. Bye now.